Well, hello, Cyberland. My name is Marlon. The channel is Old Fart Hacks. And what we're talking about today is the most common device in the machine shop world. So for those of you that are metal curious but have never actually played with one, let me go over what a lathe is and what it does. It's, as you can see, a kind of complicated little bit of machinery. A lathe is used to make round parts. That's its primary purpose, although having said that, there are people that can make more than round parts on it. But a primary example might be this part. This is a standoff I made for a particular project of mine. As you can see, it's turned out a round steel stock. The way you do that on a lathe is you put the, well, let me run over the parts of the lathe first. The key part is this. This is called the chuck. The chuck turns, this is the spindle. This is the chuck mounted on the spindle. This is where you usually put the piece you're working with. Chucks come in two primary categories. Some will have three jaws, some will have four jaws, and you, you, the, from there it goes bananas. But the next important part is right here. This place right there. That's where all the work gets done, that little tip right out there. This is the tool bit. This one is known as a carbide tool bit. A lot of people like them because you can change them out easy. That's another subject altogether. And then back here at the back, we have the thing called the tailstock. The tailstock is used for two purposes. Number one, as drilling, you can drill things that are in the truck. And the other thing is using a center like this one. This one happens to be known as a dead center. You can, you can support the end of your workpiece. So if you have a longer workpiece in the machine, the thing you're working on, you can support the end of it and it makes for better cuts. There are several primary controls on the lathe. This wheel moves the carriage along the bed using the ways on the bed. It moves it forwards, it moves it back. If you want to get technical, this is the Z axis. Machine tools have three axes. Z is in, against the in, into or out of the work surface. This would be the Y axis across, and then there's a Z axis, which is this way, which most lathes don't, well, lathes don't generally have. But anyway, so you use this to set how far along the bed you are. The next hand wheel here moves the tool post and the cross slide in and out. And then some lathes will use another one here. This is adjustable. You can turn this. There's a graduated dial right down here. You unclamp it and you can turn this post to any number of angles. But that's about all you need to know for that. So, for instance, in loading up and getting it ready to turn, you're going to want to put something in the lathe, obviously. There are two ways of doing this. You can mount bigger pieces here on the chuck on the outside or inside of the chuck, and it can expand up and down. A lathe, by the way, this one is, a, is known as a 7x14. That means that there's 7 inches from the center line here, to the top of this bed. You really can't turn something seven inches in diameter, but, and then the 14 refers to the distance between where you can put a center here and this center when it's all the way to the rear. So this is a seven by 14. It's a variable speed. Um, fancy little speed controls, forward reverse. This is motor speed. In here we have our on-off switches. And then back here on the back, there's a lever that changes the direction you can that the, uh, the uh, carriage will move under power. So for moving the, the carriage under power, there's a handle right here that engages a thing called a half nut. And when you've got this screw turned on so it's turning, 
it will move the carriage depending on which way you set that switch right back there. Sorry about the, the uh, vertigo guys. But anyway, it'll set it up so it'll go forward and backwards. And that will turn your tool against the cutting tool or the cutting tool against the work. And I think that's really all you need to know for the first video. I mean, I think I'll make a second one of this to cover actually doing some work. So anyway, for right now, bye-bye.